Hi all. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Amira and my channel is all about trying new makeup, talking about new makeup, but also finding new and exciting ways to be inspired by the makeup you already own. If that sounds good to you, I hope you consider subscribing and if you enjoyed today's video, hitting the like button. Today guys, we are starting my declutter series. Woo! Um, I've been putting it off as I always do because it's a lot of work but I am ready because I kind of have an idea with, with certain categories of things that I do want to do away with. Um, I feel like certain categories will be more decluttered than others uh, simply because I do declutters. I don't do a yearly declutter. I do a, a six month declutter every six months. So I do one at the beginning of the year and then I do one six months after that. So my, my collect makeup collection is pretty curated for the most part, as far as things that I know that I want to keep and that I want to continue to use. But I will say that over the last few months, I've been sort of itching to narrow some categories down, specifically my eyeshadow palette collection. Um, and so, yeah, so you'll probably see a little bit more decluttering in that area. Um, this video we're starting off with is going to be all about primers, foundations, concealers, powders, all the fun complexion stuff. So let's get into it and let's start off with primers. Okay, so I've got all of these primers plus one setting spray, but I only have one setting spray, so I figured I'd include this in this declutter just to get, be done with it. So first off, one thing I know for sure I'm getting rid of is this uh, Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Not only do I not really use this anymore, but as you can see, it's very cloudy and it's turned dark green, and that means that it has actually gone bad. Um, I really love this primer. If I were to ever like, you know, recommend a primer, this would be the one that I would recommend because I think it's really good. It's great if you have oily skin, dry skin. It's just an all around great primer. But yeah, this one, as you can see, is no good anymore. So this will be going in the trash. Next up, I have this um, NARS and I believe this is their, what is this? The Tinted Glow Booster. And I have it in the shade Medium Dark, also known as Tangzi. I've had this forever and a day, and I just think it's time to do away with it. I, I've used it, but it's quite thick. And I feel like, as you can see, I've used quite a bit. But as you can see, still a crap ton of product in here. And I just don't think I'm going to get through all of this. They don't make this product anymore. Also, this is a discontinued item because if it wasn't discontinued, I probably would eventually repurchase it. Um, but because it's not, I can't. And that's what, one of the reasons why I have held on to it because I do enjoy this product. I just don't feel like I use it enough. And I probably would use it more if it weren't probably out of date. So I'm going to do away with it. I'm just going to say goodbye. You've, you've, it, the thing I like about this um, that's different from like, say, the Charlotte Tilbury or even this Halo Glow from e.l.f. is that you can wear this on its own. I don't feel like I could wear the Charlotte Tilbury on its own. It's very metallic-y, tin-like on my skin. Whereas this just gives like a really soft glow. It does have some super, super fine micro shimmer in it, but it's not over the top. And that's one of the things that I like about it, which is why I've been loath to get rid of it. But I haven't used it a ton at all in the last six months or so. So I'm just, it's time for it to, to go. The same goes for this glowy makeup serum. This has been around in my collection forever. I even had it in my year end declutter and I just, I, I wasn't able to finish it. And I just feel like there's a still a decent amount of product in there. It's about to, you guys can't see it, but it's about to here. So to like there. So there's a decent amount of product in here, but I just don't think I'll get around to actually finishing it. So I'm just gonna do away with this. And then I have this Pixie by Petra Flawless Beauty Primer. Um, I don't think this has a shade. I think this might be the only shade. It's a hydrating glow primer. I used this for the first time the other day. I got this from a friend who sent me um, a little box of makeup goodies. And this was in that box. And I added it to my 
February makeup capsule and I wanted to try it. I tried it for the first time um, this week and my issue with it and why I'm probably not going to keep it in my um, in my makeup capsule is because it's really, really light on me. Um, the, the tech, the color is, as you can see, it's just really light. And what I didn't like about it is that it kind of changed the way my, like once you blend it out, it doesn't look that bad. But for some reason underneath my foundation, it kind of lightened my foundation quite a bit. And I was not happy with that. So yeah, I mean, it's got a beautiful glow to it, but I don't know. I think I think I'm gonna have to give this to someone with a lighter complexion than me that can get some use out of it. And then finally, we have the Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter, and this is the product that is that went viral. That is like the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I reviewed this on my channel some weeks ago. I don't dislike this product. I just can't stand the shade. <laughs> The shade is so warm and I think it would work under, you know, certain foundations, but on its own, I couldn't wear it. This is relatively new to my collection. I didn't dislike it. Again, the only thing I dislike is the shade, how warm it is. So I'm thinking that I am going to keep this for another six months, see how I get you know, how I get along with it, if I continue to use it, if I reach for it, if I don't reach for it after like six months and it's still sort of like been just languishing in my collection, I will declutter it. And then finally, I have my Smashbox Primer Water. This item I use all the time, but I do not use it for its actual function. I don't use this as a primer for my face. I actually use this to wet my, my shadows, my metallic and shimmer and glitter shadows. This is what I wet my brush with and what I like about this is that it kind of gives the shadows a bit more stain power on my um, on my eyelids which I really enjoy but I've been using this as my sort of like base. You know how I wet my brush for years. This is like my third or fourth bottle so this this is always in my collection and I will not be decluttering this. And this is my Milk Hydro Grip um, set and refresh setting spray it's the only setting spray i own i will be keeping this for that reason i i don't dislike this i do feel like it makes my it can sometimes get a little too dewy looking depending on the the, the foundation that you use um or that you're what you wear that you spray it over so it's not something that i use with everything but i do enjoy using this when i'm wearing something that's a little bit more matte just to give myself my skin a little bit more hydration and just to make it look a little bit more um natural of a finish so i will be keeping this all right so now let's move on to foundations Alright guys, so these are all of my foundations and hopefully this is in focus for you. Hope you can see that. But these are all of my foundations and I used to have way more than this and this is actually sort of like a whittled down, there's like cat hair on everything. Um, this is more like a whittled down collection for me but there are things even in this little whittled down collection that I want to do away with. So let's start with that. So. The main things that I'm probably that I'm going to get rid of that I know for sure is this KVD um, True Portrait Liquid to Powder Foundation. I bought this um, a while ago, and this is back when I was still really much, very much into matte foundations. I really loved the look of this. It was very sort of soft and velvety on my skin as far as the finish. But I've had this a while, and if you can see here, it's kind of like separated. So this is like product here and then this is liquid here so this is not and it's really hard to shake it up and to like get it back to what it used to be so I think this is just ready to be done with and this is just not a foundation that I find myself reaching for because this is just not the finish that I'm into anymore and then next up is my Kevin Aquan foundation balm and I know this this product was much maligned but I actually really enjoyed this and I enjoyed it for very much the same reasons that I enjoyed the KBD 
Um, foundation, what I liked about this one though is that I felt that this one was a little bit more easier to control as far as coverage. It was very, um, you can make up, you could, it can be quite full coverage or you could apply it and it'd be very skin-like. Um, and that's what I enjoyed about it. And I used to wear this honestly sort of like, um, not an everyday foundation, but on those days when you want it sort of like soft natural coverage, but that was kind of velvety and perfecting. This is what I used to wear. Um, my skin was quite oily when I used to wear this and my skin isn't that oily anymore um, for various reasons. Mainly I'm, I use tretinoin now, so my skin has become less oily. It's not dry, it's more normal. So this doesn't really sit on my skin the way it used to. And also I've had it forever. And as you can see, it has started to dry out and crack. And so I taking that as a sign that it's time to do away with this. But I was of the rare group of people who loved this foundation. If you have oily skin and you find this foundation somewhere, I, they still make it, I believe. Um, but if you can find this foundation, you can get it on sale. I say try it if you have oily skin. I, you might like it. The next item I am doing away with is my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Wheat. And the main reason I'm getting rid of this is that I hardly ever wear it. And when I do, I'm not in love with the shade. The shade is actually a little too light, but the shade below it is too dark. And so when I'm wearing this, it's, the whole point of this is supposed to be like a tinted moisturizer that feels really natural on the skin. But because of the tone of it, it just looks like I'm wearing a face full of makeup, you know, so, which is kind of defeats the purpose. So I will be getting rid of this. I can't really speak to the formula, guys, because because the shade was so off for me, I didn't wear this a ton. I think I've wore this like a handful of times. I thought it wore nicely. I just... It, it looked like I had a full face of too light foundation. <laughs> so that scared me off. But, you know, hey, I know some people really love the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. If you can find a shade that you like, I would not recommend it. I just don't have a shade that this shade doesn't work for me. Next up, I have this item that has been in my collection forever. And I've been holding on to it and holding on to it because I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to finish it. No, I'm going to finish it. And I just haven't. And now it's like separating and it's just not what it used to be. So I'm just going to do away with it. Now I have to wipe my hand off. But yeah, it's just not. Yeah, it's time to go. Okay, so the next, the rest of these items, I'm not getting rid of anything. Um, I might, let me check this Tower 28. The only thing about, I really like this, um, it's considered a tinted sunscreen, but honestly guys, it's a foundation. It has so much coverage to it. This is a foundation. I actually really like this. Um, I tend to wear it more in the summer, but I actually really love this. So I'm going to keep that. Um, keeping my Kostas, this is actually currently in my February makeup capsule. Love this foundation. Keeping. This is my Ordinary Serum Foundation. Um, this is like my third or fourth bottle of this stuff. I love it. Um, it's a really, if you want like a actual lightweight serum foundation with minimal coverage, try this one. It's, it's seven bucks. I don't know if they're doing away with it. I saw it on sale on Ulta and I was a little, I got a little concerned. So I don't know for sure if this is like being discontinued or if it's just on sale. But if you can find this in your shade, get it. It's a lovely foundation and it's very affordable. And I I, I wear the shade, um, just for reference, if you are of a similar skin tone, I wear 2.1 Y in this foundation. I have my Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch. This is a tad warm on me, but I love the finish so much. I don't use, I haven't used a ton of it, um, but when I wear it, I tend to have to lighten it up with other things like concealer and things like that. But when I wear it, I love the look of it on my skin. So I will be keeping this. Even though it's a little dark for me, I can make it work because I enjoy the finish. Next up, I have my ABH Luminous Foundation. I actually really like this foundation. I have it in the shade 332C, which is now a bit too light for me. I used to wear, what is it, 355? Whoops, 335. I used to wear a couple of shades uh, warmer than this way back in the day. And then lockdown happened and my skin got really, got far more cooler as far as undertone goes. And so I purchased this one. But now they're out of lockdown. My skin is kind of 
in between those two shades. So I have enough of this that I feel like I want to finish it up or at least try to get more use out of it because I do love this foundation. And even though it's a little bit cool, it's still the, the right shade. Like it's just the undertone that's a little, that's a little cool, but it actually does work for my skin for the most part, especially once I add bronzer and things like that. So I will be keeping this. My House Labs, this isn't going anywhere. This was one of my favorite foundations of 2022, my favorite items of 2022. I was pleasantly surprised by this foundation, so I will definitely be keeping it. It is a beautiful foundation. <sighs> Smashbox Halo Glow. People sleep on this. If you want glow, everyone talks about how much they want glow. You want glow, baby, get this. This has glow, glow. You wanna be glowy, get this. It is so glowy. Wear this in the summer. I'm piling all these different foundations on my skin, which is making my hand look gross, but whatever. Um, but it's just, it has a lot of glow. And it's not like that tin metallic look that you get from like a Hollywood Flawless filter. It's actually just like glowy. Um, so I, I actually really like this for summer. And so I will be keeping it. This is one of the newer foundations to my collection, and I bought this for my drugstore um, makeup try-on video, and I've used this quite a bit. I had it in my January capsule, and I had been using it a few weeks before in December, and this is just okay. Like, I'm not wild by this. But I did get a lot of use out of it, so part, and it's one of the newer things in my collection, so I'm low to, like, toss this or give like I don't even think I would give this away because this is such a mess and I have to constantly take this out and then run it on my like apply it to the back of my hand so I wouldn't give someone this because it's not sanitary so what I think I'm gonna do is see if I can if I will will wind up getting more use out of it over the next six months or so and if it, I don't buy my next declutter I will declutter it and lastly, I have my Stellar Limitless Foundation. And this is probably the only, like, matte full coverage foundation that I will be keeping in my collection or that I have in my collection at this point because I love it. This is, like, this was my favorite foundation for a really, really long time, and I still love it. And I thought that maybe I wasn't going to love it anymore because I'm not really into, like, matte full coverage foundations anymore. I still love it. It still slaps. Um, so I'm going to finish this bottle up. I don't know if I'd repurchase it because it's not, you know, my my finish of choice anymore. But I love it enough to at least finish the bottle that I purchased, you know. So that will be staying. And then I have my LYS Beauty Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I haven't used this in a while, but it's a solid foundation. A lot of people say that it is similar to the ABH. I don't think it is. I think it is maybe in texture, but not in finish. I find this one to be far more dewy, whereas I find the ABH to be more luminous, but a natural, a more satin finish, if that makes sense. This one is more dewy, but I will be keeping this because I do enjoy this foundation. So, I decluttered three which I think is pretty good considering that I had already done like a bigger declutter six months prior. Um, so that's not bad. That's not bad. All right. Let's move on to concealers. All right. So these are all of my concealers. Um, again, I had done a pretty big declutter of my concealers as well. And my, I think it was my last declutter. So I don't feel like I have a, a, a collection that's too extensive, especially since I'm looking at things that I know for a fact that I will be getting rid of. So let's start there. This is my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection. This is just old, as you can see. Um, and also, it's a more matte finish. It's not, I'm not really into this finish as much as I used to be, like I said. So I'm going to be doing away with it, but mostly because it's old. Like if it wasn't out, it wasn't old, I probably would still get some use out of it and finish it up. But as you can see, it's like separating and everything. So that's just going to go. Next up that's going to go is this Milk um, Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. I tried, guys. I tried to like this, but I just don't. It, it makes my, it makes me look decrepit and I'm not decrepit. I don't even, it makes me have wrinkles that I don't have. You ever have a concealer do that where it makes you look wrinkly and you're like, but I don't have a wrinkle there. I don't have dry skin, but it makes my skin look dry and just, ugh. I don't like it. I don't like it. 
Yes, I am doing away with the Rare Beauty. I, this is one of the newer things in my collection, but I, this is so light. And this is the shade that I did the whole shade match thing. This is medium and it's just so light and I don't like the way it looks. It's very similar to the Future Fluid, except it just doesn't have any coverage. So it just, it may, it, I feel like it makes my skin look dry and it's supposed to brighten, but it actually just makes my skin look dry, but like with like a weird watery uh, light coverage over the dry. And it's just, it's a strange product. And I, I don't like it. It has this like little metal thing. And I think this is really stupid and gimmicky. Like it's supposed to like, oh, it's supposed to massage and cool the eye. It's like, no, actually it just doesn't do any of that. And you get this amount of product. And so you're dipping, dipping, dipping for product. It's just dumb. I don't like it. The rest of my concealers, this is my Kulsas. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that. Do you see how empty that is? It's very empty. It's done. I'm sad. Very sad. So yeah, this is done. This is done Zo. okay? Like, I can see, I'm looking down. Like, right now, as I'm talking to you guys, I'm looking down into the bottom of the tube. I can see the bottom of the tube. That's how empty this is. This is my favorite concealer. This is my second tube of this. And, um, yeah, I'm sad. But I promised myself that I was not going to repurchase it until I found something else that I like that's comparable. Like, I didn't want to, like, marry this concealer yet. Like, I'm, I'm open to the commitment. We've been in a monogamous relationship for the most part, but I feel like it's time for us to see other people to see if the love is true. So I really want to date around a bit. So I won't be repurchasing this right away. I, I will say this, guys, that I was on the Sephora website because I just ordered the new KVD foundation because I was really, really into it. And I was like, I really want to know what that's like. And since I was decluttering, I was like, I'll have space. It'll be great. I almost put this in my cart. Like, I was so tempted to just repurchase this because I feel insecure. Like, I feel insecure without having it in my collection. Like, I'm like, but well, where's my, where's my Kosas? But I'm going to stay strong and I'm going to, I'm going to try other things. I still have foundations here that I want to get use out of. So I'm going to toss this. This is done. It's empty. It has seen its entire life cycle. It has served me well. Next up, we have the Kofi. I've talked about this one, how I feel about this one. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. It is very hit or miss, but I feel like it's still something that I can get some use out of. So I will be keeping this and hopefully finishing it. I also have my NARS Radiant Creamy and Caramel. Um, I haven't used this recently, but I might throw this in a capsule, maybe next month's capsule to see how I feel about it. Um, but I do like this concealer. And then I have my Shiseido. My Shiseido is in my February makeup capsule and I've been using it and I have to say, guys, I don't know if I still love it. I don't. Again, a lot of these I purchased when I had very different tastes in concealers and I'm finding that a lot of them are just not my jam anymore, but I purchased them and I want to get use out of them. And some of them I do still really like, like the Radiant Creamy. I think this is beautiful. The Shiseido isn't bad. It's just very matte and I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm, I'm going to get more use out of it. The Stellar, I haven't used enough, and I really want to get more use out of this as well, so I'm going to hold on to that. <laughs> this one. I talked about this in my, I think it was my truck store. Was it my, no, I think it was my review roundup. So this is not my first time owning this product. This is my second time owning this product, and I feel like a whole clown for even purchasing this the second time because, because when I first purchased this years ago, I loved it. I thought the formula was beautiful. The problem was that the shade was way off for me because the shade range and the light illusion in the foundation and the concealer is utter trash. Utter trash. And I knew that. But why did I purchase this? Why did I why did I set myself up like this? I don't know, but I did. And then I put it on my eyes. The, this new tube and I was like oh my gosh it's still a trash shade and not only that I don't even like the formula anymore what was I thinking I don't know I'm decluttering this this was stupid it was a waste of money all right so now let's get into powders so these are my powders these are all the powders and I'm including this Vanessa Myers which I know some people look at as a foundation but I don't <laughs> I don't see it as a foundation. It is very much a powder for me. Like I put this over 
um, foundation mainly because this product has ingredients that break me out this is actually a really beautiful product but I just can't use it all the time um, so I'm not gonna get rid of this I I'm actually planning a video that I need to use this for so I that's one of the main reasons why I'm not getting rid of it I don't know if that will it will stay after that if I will you know try to get more use out of it I don't know again this is a beautiful product the only issue that I have with it is that it breaks me out um, the it has a lot of silicones in it and sil silicones tend to break me out so yeah then I have this MAC powder let me just pull all of those out right now so you guys can see all of my powders there all the powders this is it so I have this bad boy which is my Too Faced Peach Perfect this is my god how many how many how many containers of this have I owned over the years? This is probably like my third or fourth. And I had a backup that I actually was like, I, I panicked when they discontinued this and I like panic purchased like two or three. I finished one and then I had one extra one and I was like, this is ridiculous, Amira. Let it go. So I sold that one on Poshmark because it was brand new in the box. I'm like, I'm just going to get rid of it. And then I've had this one, which I opened up. And I've actually gotten quite a bit of use out of it, considering that I don't wear a lot of powder anymore. I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's not... I've got a... I, I mean, I've gotten some decent use out of this. So I'm feeling like I am going to keep this and keep using it, because I do enjoy this. It is matte. It's just a really nice, soft matte. It's really finely milled. It doesn't make my face look cakey which is what I like about it, or flat. So that's why this gets to stay, even though it's a matte powder, it's a really lovely, well-formulated powder. Next up is this e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I actually really like this one too, and it does have a lot of glow to it. The issue that I have with it is that I feel like it's a little dark for me. Well, maybe not. I really like this powder though. Okay, I tell you what, because I do love it, and now I'm like, maybe it's not too dark. I think it was really dark because I had the foundation of this, the, um, what was it called? Their foundation that came in there, like, that looked like the NARS bottle with the matte cap. That one I had in a shade that was too dark for me, and that combined with this powder made my skin look like a good th two shades darker than I actually am. And it was just strange looking on me, it was like my, yeah. So I got rid of that, but I kept the powder because I do really like the powder. And now that I'm looking at it and looking at the finish on my hand, it's got, it's so pretty. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. What I'm not going to be keeping is my MAC Skin Finish in Medium Tan, Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Tan. Because I have never used it. I've swatched it. Never used it. Well, no, I take that. Did I use it? I might have used it once, but... I just, this is not my jam. I don't do these types of things anymore where I like apply a lot of powder to my face. I just don't, I just don't feel like this is something that I need in my collection anymore. So I'm going to do away with it. My Shantikai. I kind of high key, low key want to declutter this, but I also high key, low key don't because it's really expensive. <laughs> It's not a bad powder, guys. That's not the issue. The issue is that it's very, very light for me, and they come out with a deeper tone, which would be better for me. But this powder is so freaking expensive that I do not want to get rid of it and then purchase another one. That's insane to me. So I'm going to try and get more use out of it. It's not a bad powder. I actually really like the finish of this. It's just a little too light. So maybe if I pair it with something that's a bit warmer, I don't know. I just can't, I can't bring myself to declutter it because it was so expensive, but I also can't bring myself to buy another one because it's so expensive. And now I'm trapped. I'm trapped with this, but also how pretty is that? <laughs> I am not getting rid of these powders. This is my Hourglass Mini. I've had this for ages. This used to be my favorite powder. I kind of want to revisit it and see if I still love it. Oh, it's so messy. This powder is always, this is the mini. It's, I don't think I've even used this, but it's just so messy. Um, yeah, I actually really like this and I want to see if I still like it. So I might try to incorporate this in a capsule, maybe next for March, maybe see if I still enjoy it. And then if I don't, I can declutter it in the next declutter. My Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Blurring 
under eye powder. I've been using, this is in my February makeup capsule, and I've been using this a ton. And I've been using it just to sort of powder strategically. So I do powder like under the eye, but I also powder around like, you know, area, other areas of my face where I want to bring the shine down a little bit, but I don't want all over powdering. And this is perfect for that because it's really finely milled. It's really light. It does blur. It does mattify, but it doesn't like flatten. You know, it has a little bit of sheen to it that keeps the skin, gives, continues to allow the skin to have some dimension to it, even though it's powdered. So this is a beautiful powder. Um, people rave about this powder. I, I definitely, you know, I don't, care about having a powder that's just for my under eyes I feel like if it's a decent powder you should be able to use it everywhere and this is a powder that you can use everywhere so you hear people rave about this there's a reason for it it's a really beautiful powder all right guys so this is everything that I am decluttering look at all of this look at all of that look at all of that that is everything that I'm decluttering. Pretty, pretty great. Pretty great. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Like, I knew this wasn't going to be the one that I did a ton of, like, massive decluttering for. So, I'm happy with where I stand with this. Um, yeah, so, I'll see you in the next uh, part of this massive declutter I'm doing. Bye now.